Okay guys, welcome to Inspire for Travel. I'm currently in the Kaka Mega Forest area and I'm going to go to the entrance. Mambo! <laughs> So this is the campsite, beautiful campsite here in Kakamega Forest. And you can see there's cows, a nice hut. You can also have picnics here. There are washrooms available. So yeah, definitely check this out when you visit Kakamega. Okay guys, today we are on an, an amazing adventure at the Kaka Mega Forest. Now let me just give you a little information about the Kaka Mega Forest for those who may not know. Kaka Mega Forest is a tropical rainforest situated in Kaka Mega and Nandi County in Kenya, northwest of the capital city, Nairobi, and near to the border with Uganda. It is Kenya's only tropical rainforest and is said to be Kenya's last remnant of the ancient guineo congolian rainforest that once spanned the continent. The forest lies on an undulating terrain, mostly between 1,500 and 1,600 meters elevation. It is in the watershed of the Isi-Uhu and Yala rivers which flow through the forest before emptying into Lake Victoria. Mm -hmm. Depending on the food availability on the ground, yeah. this tree can grow to a height of approximately 80 meters uh, no, uh, in height yeah. and up to 20 meters in diameter, okay. depending on the food availability and apart from that, uh, competition determines from other plants. Other plants, yeah. As you can see from this case here, we don't have many more of the plants, but only the small ones that don't interfere with us with that tree with the tree yeah in, in food competition right so this alcohol tea can grow up to even 20 meters in diameter okay up to 80 meters in height in height and it has been one of the most endangered tree species in that most people would come in for its durability for furniture expensive furniture yeah or the sailing boats all right the best would suffer and that's what they use to, they make, use it. It to okay. make it okay 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 and just because the community which has been the most pressure to kakameka forest has been involved in conservation to participate more yeah they have been advised to have their own forest on their own farm right just to conserve the remaining natural trees as this could be the example okay so how old is this this tree this wood tree is approximately 250 years at the moment wow as for your case maybe you have never heard about it huh? yeah queen elizabeth as she participated in conservation around kakameka forest she came to visit this tree okay and she really hugged kissed the tree wow for remembrance okay so you can <laughs> yourself that you have visited the site Queen Elizabeth. I've visited, yeah. Before. Sure. Okay. So what's the name of this one? Tick fig. Tick fig. Fig fig fig. Okay. F I G. F I G. Whoa. Uh, as you know fig normally pair with fig fruit. Fig fruits, yeah. Which normally attracts some of the wildlife that you find within the Kakamega forest. Okay. Yeah, this is amazing, guys. I'm literally in the tree. Whoa! 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Sunglasses. Yeah. How old is this tree? This is one of, one of the parasitic trees. Mm -hmm. As you can see, that space was initially for the host plant. Okay. Which now decomposed right. after this one okay. had grown fully on it. Okay. Yeah. So this tree, guys, around 150 years old, as you can see, and very beautiful. So you can also go inside like you just seen what I just did. And this is what the inside looks like. Okay. So it's one of the sacred plants. The Luya people believe it's a sacred tree. Oh, a sacred tree? Yes. So this is a sacred tree by the Luya people, a community here in Kenya? Mugumo. Mugumo. Ngomo tree. Mugumo. Mugumo. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about the sacredness? What's the meaning? Of that? The sacredness of the tree? Sacred. Yeah. So why, is, why is it sacred? In that most people normally worship around this tree. Oh, okay. And about that we do circumcision, male circumcision. Yes. Sir. So uh, mostly around this tree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Male yeah. circumcision. Right? Yeah. And, it, and it will be this exact tree here? Yes. Wow. Mm. Okay. So. And you can see people are debugging it for its sap yeah which is normally glue like glue. It's white -ish, yeah which we normally use in carpentry carpentry for glue or for as glue okay yeah wow as you can see the trees the leaves are providing very good mulch mm -hmm. and you know the importance of the mulch after decomposition okay it improves the soil fertility okay and the mulch also preserves the soil moisture okay yes all right Mm. Thanks for that. Mm. Okay. Monkeys. Okay. Monkeys. Mm. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. On after you who are and a cut cut into when the cool, eh? Walk or cut cut, no. Sir, no, no, they're black and white. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Hmm? Wow. The colobus. Yeah. Black and white colobus. That's the colobus no. monkeys, guys. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this is the trees that they'll be on here in the forest. Wow. Okay. So we have seven different species of primates. Okay. The the colobus, the black and white being one of them, mm -hmm. as it normally moves as a family or in a family yeah. of minimum 15. 15, okay. And maximum are 55. Okay. And each family is normally led by one dominant male. Right. So the majority are females and the females. Okay. And do you have gorillas as well? No, mostly you have the, the baboons. Eh? Baboons, okay. On the right. right, okay. You put your bike. Bike? Eh, mm. uh, boda boda. Uh -huh. Straight ahead, huh? Moja kwa moja. Yeah, from town. Miatano. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This tree. Yeah. Wow. Look at this tree. This is a very big one. What's the name of this one? Also fig. Oh, this. Okay. So this is a fig tree. This is one of the biggest I've seen. Yeah. Wow. This is one of the biggest fig trees I've seen yeah. here in the forest, guys. And look how deep the roots go. How old is this one? This one also could be the same. Between 100 and 50 to 200 years. Wow. So you're looking at a tree that is over 150 to 200 years old. Wow, Jamani. Hear it. 
I'm not sure if you can hear, but that's a horn bills. Mm -hmm. It's a bird, but I can't see it. It's hiding right now. Are there many here? Yeah, in fact, it's the season. Huh? It's the season. Yes. But they're hiding. They normally move in pairs, male and female. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll be lucky to see them soon. Mm -hmm. Before we finish, we have yeah. seen one. Mm -hmm. Either in flight? Yeah. So are the local community allowed to come here and maybe use some of the plants for medicine here? Yes. Okay. Apart from that, also the firewood collection. Firewood collection, yeah. Sand harvesting. For okay. Us okay. Also, cool. we harvest the grass for the for the roof. Okay. Yeah, as you can visit it's also one of the natural. Yeah. Grasslands. Huh? Okay. The forest is famous for its birds. 367 bird species have been recorded in the forest, such as the West African Great Blue Taraco and the Black and White Cashquid Hornbill. At least nine bird species are not found anywhere else in the world. We also have the croton. The croton, okay. As this one, for example. Yeah. The croton. Oh, okay. And the right. Oh, this one here. This one here. Okay. But normally fruits or has the seeds. Okay. Which provide uh, what does a fruit provide vitamins? Eh? Vitamins, yeah. Yes, to, to human beings. Eh? Okay. So the wildlife feed on the seeds. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you see these trees, although you see them big here, they do have a purpose because the wildlife, like my guide is saying, feeds on the seeds for this tree. Very interesting here. In Kakamega Forest. Yeah. As for the case of this one, I would like you to feel its leaves. Mm. Its leaves. It's rough. Yes, it's rough. So this is what it normally shed. Ah, uh ah. -huh. What we use for sandpaper, okay. for local sandpaper, okay. and also as nail polish. The, okay, so this is a leaf, and I'm feeling it right now. This leaf, it is used for sandpaper and nail, nail, nail polish. Yes. It's very rough. So you see, in nature, they have so many things <laughs> which is used and can be used for different purposes right here in the forest. Very interesting. So this is what you call the sun. So guys, this tree that you're looking at right now, you saw the leaf I was showing you. And you can notice there's various holes in the tree. And some of the monkeys literally come here and drink some of the water that has been accumulated in this tree as well and also historically long ago this tree is also used to make drums as well and it's also used to send out signals to other people so for example if I hit this see it makes a sound and depending on who is hitting they'll be able to send message to other people that will be distance I'm far away. Very interesting. <coughs> okay. The Kakamega forest is very wet, with an average of 1,200 millimeters to 1,700 millimeters of rain per year. Rainfall is heaviest in April and May, which is known as the long rains with a slightly drier in June and the second peak roughly in August to September 
which is the short rains. January and February are the driest months. Temperature is fairly consistent throughout the year, ranging between 20 to 30 Celsius. Kitambo, Yeah. Maybe you would like to donate something for the uh, preparing. Preparing, okay. Yeah. Wow. As the money you pay for the tour guide, eighty percent cost for conservation. So, so this is one of the the things here. Yeah. The things to the tree nursery. So. So. Yeah. So yeah, this is a watchtower which was used a long time ago. This is what it looks like, guys. Wow. Yeah. And you can have this plant here. Chukwai. Mm-hmm. Eat, eat the fruit. Oh, the fruit. Mm. Yeah. The bull prek. The prek. Yeah. Can break. Smell it. Mm. You look here, son. That's a record. Mm. Mm. So this is one of our local medicine. We use it for toothpaste and also sore throat. Wow. Sore throat for medicine and toothpaste for the mouth refreshment. Okay. What we call hypercapensis. Mm. So you can see mm. the forests have everything. This here that you can see in my hand is used for toothpaste, mouthwash, mm. yeah. toothpaste and uh, sore throat. And sore throat. As well. Mm. Hyper. Yeah. Hyper. 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 Piper. Mm. Capes. Piper Capes. Mm. This is the name Piper Capes, and this is what it looks like, guys. You're getting a real exclusive here in Kakamega Forest. The forest lies in the Victoria Basin Forest Savannah Mosaic Eco Region. The forest flora and fauna include many species associated with the moist forests of the guinea congolian region, which lie further west in the basin of the Congo. Many of the local inhabitants rely on the forest to supply important resources, Straight, huh? such as firewood, building poles, and traditional medicines. Cattle grazing occurs in some of the glades. The region is said to be one of the most densely populated rural areas in the world, and pressure on the forest resources is considerable. The German-funded project Biota East worked in the forest from 2001 until 2010, creating forest inventories for many life forms aiming to find strategies for sustainable use of the forest. My left, uh huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh? Turn a hula or white white Uh huh. It's one of the hardwood also. Hardwood, yeah. And mainly for timber. Okay. And I'll show you the mama mm -hmm. which fell down, or the mother which has been producing seedlings from this. Uh? Okay. Yeah, from there. So this is one of the offspring. Okay. Yeah, for the mama. Okay. 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 Yeah. So these white trees that you're seeing, they're used for timber. And they have male and female in these trees as well. Very interesting when you travel in the forest. One of the things you learn is male and female. Some are known to bear fruit. Some are known not to bear fruits. There's a whole system here in the ecology of the forest, guys. Very, very interesting from what my guide is telling me here. My Sopti. My Sopsis. My Sopsis. Ah, yeah. 
Wow, you know the scientific names. Yes. <laughs> we are professional in this thing. <laughs> I mean, I. Is there a local name, like maybe in the Luya language, or how they call some of these trees? Like this one, they call it Mutere. Mutere, okay. Luya, yeah. Mutere. <coughs> Mm. Mm. Uh, but we have this one also here. Yes. Which is mainly used in bridge construction. For bridges, yeah. Bridges oh. only. Oh, wow. And you can imagine the bridges could be really a very strong. Very strong, yeah. Wood. Wow. Maybe you have heard of the first East African railway line which was constructed in early 1911. Yes, I heard of it, yes. You heard of it. Yeah. So it was from these slippers. Wow. So it's slippers, what we call the pruners, Africana. Oh. Pruners. As the scientific name. Uh -huh. But local name we call it red stink wood. Red stink wood. Yes. Wow. So as you can see, it's this back is like worn off. Mm -hmm. This is how it normally refreshes itself. It's not dry. Oh. As you can see from the from the branches or from the leaves, they are still alive. Still or the alive. plant is still alive. Yeah. And recent uh, research came out with the result that the tree mm -hmm. is uh, a medicine for prostate cancer. Wow. We boil the bark, mm -hmm. drink the water for the prevention of either prostate cancer yeah. or breast cancer. Breast cancer, you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we call it Prunas Africana. Uh -huh. And the bark normally attracts some of the wildlife, like the beetles that are found within the forest. Eh? Wow. It normally fruits to attract wildlife also. Wow. So for bridge, for medicine, prostate, yeah. and also breast cancer, yeah. apart from that, it's habitat. Wow, some of the that's amazing! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, is this only found in Kakamega Forest? Mm, I never know, but mostly it favors climate of the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforest, mm. yeah. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. Wow, so this tree was used to build bridges, and like from what you just heard, it helps to cure prostate cancer or treat prostate cancer and breast cancer this tree here very very interesting and it's still alive you might it might look dry but one of the things it does this is one of the things it does to rejuvenate itself because if you if you if you can look right up you can see there's still leaves and everything on this tree very very interesting information here I am. Okay. We know, we know. <laughs> Unapenda Germany. Kwa nini? Huko. Eh. At least huko ukifanya kazi bila mimi naona. Eh. Nikalipo mtarakidi doko. So this is the mother tree from the two siblings, so the, oh. the offspring I showed you from there. Yeah, 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 that's the mother. So it, it, <coughs> it fell, huh? It fell. Okay. So it's on decomposition. Decomposition, okay. So do you do farming as well? Oh, I do. You do? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's on decomposition now. Yeah. The mother of all the Kakamega forest species. Right. And the mother of all the mysopsis trees in the whole of Kakamega forest is on decomposition. Wow. It fell down some seven years back mm -hmm. in that it had been affected by a disease. Die back was a disease. Wow. That was affecting its back and eventually its rooting system, yeah. which became more weak and very weak. And eventually the tree fell down fell seven down. years. Wow. Yeah. So you heard that, guys. Mm. It fell down three years back. And that's the mother of a lot of these, some of the trees that we were seeing previously here in the forest. What's the scientific name for this tree? 
My sopsis emini. Or mutere tree. Mutere tree. Yes, mutere is a local vegetable. Murenda. Okay. Okay. Which is very slippery. Slippery. And it's normally fed to young kids who have problems in feeding the mutere vegetable. Yeah. Uh -huh. And as you know, our staple food is ugali. Ugali. So the vegetable morenda is fed to young kids with the ugali, mm -hmm. which slows down the ugali quickly. It's slippery. Oh, okay. And the kid can get satisfied within seconds. Seconds, yeah. So the leaves from this tree resembles the mutere vegetable, what we call the morenda. Okay. That's why we call it mutere, Mut as the local name, mutere Lo tree. Mutere tree, yes. okay. Do adults take it as well? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So are there like plants here that could help treat malaria? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. It has to mean contact. Okay. As we have it also in the tree nursery big one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. The wing, mm. the wing, the wing, from the one of the feathers, yeah. the birds. So you can just take it. Too. Which bird is this one? You red think? Blue. You can see the yeah. red blue turtle. So this is a feather of one of the birds here, the yeah. great blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there many of them in this forest? Many. Then this is the season, the breeding season. Oh, breeding season. Mm. Wow, wow, wow.